random junk from the archives. Yeah. Um, the life of the martial artist Bruce Lee is to be celebrated in a five-year-long exhibition which opens today in Hong Kong, 40 years after his death. Visitors will be able to find out about the actor's past as well as his achievements. Our Hong Kong correspondent Juliana Liu has been finding out more. The world knows him as the cool, kinetic Chinese-American martial artist who boasts onto the big screen in the 1970s. Bruce Lee passed away in Hong Kong at the height of his fame. The fascination with his life and legacy remains. Well, this is how he's being celebrated in Hong Kong, a city where the young Bruce Lee gained a foundation in traditional Chinese martial arts and to where he returned to become a full-fledged film star. Visitors to the Heritage Museum can get a close-up look at more than 600 items on display, including intimate family photos as well as a special 3D movie. His only daughter, Shannon Lee, says her father is still relevant today. Obviously, the films are still loved and watched, but it's the depth behind the films that keep him relevant today. And we can take his words, his actions, and apply them to our own lives, and people do all the time. So on, too. Lee's many followers revere him as not just an actor, but as a philosopher, martial artist, and a patriot. Before Bruce Lee, you know, there is a certain image on Chinese. But after Bruce Lee, the way he changed the people thinking about Chinese is people will look at Chinese at a more respectful manner. At the Nongping 360 Amusement Park, the Bruce Lee Tribute Show is the main attraction this summer. It's a sign that 40 years after his passing, Lee's memory is still very much alive. Juliana Liu, BBC News, Hong Kong.